Perez Junior School, Primary 7. I want to uh, tell our dear parents of children in Primary 7 that we are going to have lessons on YouTube channel. Uh, the, the account name of YouTube is Bright Perez Junior School Mbale. So, subscribe. You can get the best use of the WhatsApp numbers which are on the screen in case you need anything. Uh, in case your children want to ask a question in any subject, they can call or WhatsApp us uh, on those numbers that are moving down the screen. Click on the bell notification such that you can get the updates of the channel every day from Monday to Friday. Good morning, my dear candidates of Bright Pearl Junior School Mbale 2020. My name is Magom Nelson, your teacher of mathematics. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for staying safely at home in this hard period of COVID-19. Uh, on the same note, I will encourage you to continue observing the guidelines uh, given to us by the Ministry of Health as far as the COVID-19 is concerned. So for that case, I will tell you as to why we are here today. We are going to continue with the lessons uh, in all areas. I personally am going to continue with mathematics and we are going to begin from where we ended. So I want you to be very, very attentive and follow this systematically from the beginning up the end. So today we are going to call this lesson one of mathematics so before you went home the last lesson we had we were looking at circumference of a circle and we ended by also looking at the axe how to get the axe the length of the axe of the parts of the circle so today we are going to look at finding finding the perimeter of shapes using pi So boys and girls, before we look at finding the perimeter of a shape using pi, we are going to first of all look at the circle. We are going to first of all look at the circle at the key points before we come to the perimeter of a shape using pi. Uh, this is what we call a circle. And 
This is what we call the circumference. This outer ending is the one we call the circumference. And from here up to here, this is what we call the distance. I mean, the, this is what we call the diameter of a circle. And from here up to the center, this is what we call the radius. And also from here up to here, we call this the radius. So, when we are to find the diameter, in one diameter, we have two radii. So here we say diameter equals two radii. Or we say diameter equals two r. Okay? And in our previous lesson, we said and we stated the formula for circumference and we stated it as circumference equals pi d. Okay? I want to get me very, very clear. By the time we go to this, we, it will be very, very easy for us to understand what we are doing. So, the first thing you have to understand is this one here. One diameter has two radii. And that's why we are saying diameter equals two r. r means radius. Then we came down and said circumference equals pi d. Remember, we said that one diameter has got two radii. So we can have another formula for circumference. Uh, we shall say also circumference equals pi. Equals pi. But now, instead of writing uh, diameter d, you are going to remove d and put 2r, which is 2r. Okay? So, this one is a formula for finding circumference, as well as this one here. So, you will use this to find the circumference of a circle if, in the question, they have given you diameter. And you will find the circumference of a circle if, in the question, they have given you the radius. So if they give you diameter in the question, use this one here. And if they give you radius, you use this one here. So this one here can also be uh, simplified as circumference equals 2 pi r. So this one and this one, they are the same. So, and also remember that this formula for circumference is only for finding the circumference of a full circle. I emphasize this. This is only for finding the circumference of a full circle. And also this one here. Now, I also have sectors made from a circle. For example, we have this. This is called a semicircle. Now, when you are finding, we shall not call this circumference. No. Its circumference is the outer ending of a full circle. But if it is not full, we shall call it arc. We shall call it arc. This one here, from here up to here, it is called an arc. So how do you find this one? You will not say circumference. We shall say, uh, since this same circle is having the diameter, we are going to employ this one. And then we shall say arc. Remember. Remember, remember as to why I'm telling you that this one is called an arc. So arc equals we shall have a half. We shall not we shall not just say pi d. No. It is a half pi d. Okay? 
Why are we saying half? We are not saying half because it is a half a circle. No. We are saying it is a half by D because if you look at this semicircle here, from here up to here, we have 180 degrees. So how does this half come? This half comes in this way. So we say arc equals 180, this 180, out of, and a full circle takes 360 degrees by D. So when you divide this by 180 once by 180, try. So we shall have here uh, the formula for arc as a half by D. And this is how, this is how we get this half. It is not a half because it is a, it is a half of a circle. No. So, allow me continue. These are important points to note before we come to the perimeter of a shape using pi. Uh, we also have what we call a quadrant. How do we find the arc? Of a quadrant, we shall also say we shall also say arc equals a quarter pi. We shall not say a uh, pi d because the quadrant has got radius and also radius. So here we are going to employ this one here, this formula for circumference, but with this a quarter because of the being a quadrant and this will be a quarter pi a quarter a quarter to pi r and this a quarter comes in the way that we will get this 90 you get this 90 of the quadrant divided by the by the sum of the center angles of a circle and you put here 2 pi r. We went through all this, but I want us to move through this quickly and then we go to our work. So if you divide this by 90 once by 90, we shall get here 4. So here we get 1 out of 4 to pi r. That is where the a quarter 2 pi r comes from. We also have also sectors like this one. This one has got 120 degrees. This one is radius and also the, this one also is it radius. So to find this arc here, this arc from here up to here, we say arc equals 120 degrees out of 360 degrees. Since it is having radius, we are going to pick this one and say 120 degrees out of 360 degrees to pi r. So, this is the formula of finding this arc. And then if you divide, we shall get here one. This is, uh, this is uh, by 2, d6, by 2, 18. By this once, by this, 3. So this is 1 out of 3, uh, 2, pi r. So the formula for getting the arc of that sector. So we say arc equals 1 out of 3 2 pi r. These are the important points to note before we come to the perimeter of a shape using pi. You should also observe, also or note also the following. You should also note the following. You should also have we should also know the, for, uh, the, 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 the definition for perimeter. Perimeter is the total distance around the figure. The total distance around the figure. For example, the perimeter of this one here is the total distance around this figure. For this one is also the, the total distance around this here figure. Okay? Now, there is also an important point to note. 
what is that important point to note? Uh, dotted lines. Dotted lines. Dotted lines are Dotted lines are imaginary lines. Dotted lines are imaginary lines. Lines, they are left are left out when you find a perimeter, like you are going to see. So, for that case, we shall now come to our examples, and we are going to begin with example one. So this is our example one. The question is, find the perimeter of the figure below. Which figure is this one? This is a semicircle. So, candidates. So, here is our question. Here is our first question. And the question is, find the perimeter of the figure below. This is a semicircle and we said that the perimeter is the total distance around the figure and this is what you're talking about perimeter is the total distance you for you to get perimeter we shall have this arc and then we add it to the diameter okay so here we shall begin by saying that the perimeter equals this is the diameter. So we say perimeter equals diameter plus arc. Perimeter equals diameter plus this arc. Now, we are here with our formula. With the diameter, we have it. But we are lacking the arc. We don't have this arc. So before you find the perimeter, first find this arc. So come down and say the arc of a semicircle. Here we say the arc of the semicircle is a half pi d. Why are we using a half pi d? Because the semicircle has got the diameter. We shall come down and say uh, arc equals a half and we shall use the pi of 22 out of 7 times 
the diameter which is 14 centimeters. Aha! Uh -huh. When we reach here, we are supposed to simplify and we get the length of our arc. So we shall divide by 2. By 2 here we shall have 1. 22 divided by 2, we shall have 11. By 7, once. By 7, we shall have 2. So here, we shall have 1 times 11 times 2 centimeters. So our arc equals 22 centimeters. So from here up to here, we have 22 centimeters. Having reached there, we can now find the perimeter of this figure here. So we shall come here and have this. We shall now say perimeter equals diameter. We say the perimeter is equal to diameter plus arc. And our diameter, our diameter here is 14 centimeters plus the arc which is 22 centimeters and therefore our perimeter equals 36 centimeters that is our example one We have our example two, and the question is, find the perimeter of the figure below. The figure we have here now is the one we call the quadrant. So how do you find the perimeter of this figure? So here, before you find the perimeter, first identify the outer, outer sides. So this one here, it, from here up to here, is the one we call the radius of a circle and also from here up to here is also called the radius and then this curved part is the one we call the arc so perimeter of this perimeter of this figure here equals radius this one here plus this radius plus this And if you want to find your perimeter, you have the radius is there. You also have plus radius. And if they put these signs, it means it mean that if this is 7, even that is also 7. Now, we have the radius which is 7 centimeters. We also have the radius which is 7 centimeters plus 
this arc, which we don't have. So before you find the perimeter, first come down and find the length of this arc. So we shall say arc equals, this is the quadrant. We are finding this arc, what we call the circumference of a quadrant, which is a quarter. Now bring in the formula for circumference with radius, because the quadrant has a radius, which is 2 pi r. So here we shall have a quarter, 1 out of 4, times 2, times 22, out of 7, times the radius, which is 7 centimeters. From there, we are going now to simplify. By 2 here, we shall have 2. By 2, once. By 7, once. By 7, once. So, also come down. By 2, once. By 2, 11. So, we have nothing down. Come here and say, we have 1 times 1 times 11 times 1 centimeters. And if you multiply 1 times 1 times 11 times 1, we shall have 11 centimeters as our arc. Our arc is now 11 centimeters. From here up to here is 11 centimeters. So from there, we can now find our perimeter of this figure by saying now perimeter equals 7 centimeters plus 7 centimeters plus 11 centimeters. Okay, so perimeter equals our formula is here radius plus radius plus arc. The radius is 7 centimeters plus another radius is 7 centimeters plus the arc. The arc, we got it. It is here, which is 11 centimeters. When we add here 7 plus 7, we shall have 14 plus 11. And here we shall get 25. So our perimeter for this figure here is 25 centimeters that is our example that is our example two now let's go to example three shall go to our example 3. So, we're also supposed to find the perimeter of that figure. Remember, all along we say perimeter is the total distance around a shape or a figure. So, for the perimeter of this one, we have, I will say that before you get the perimeter of these figures, first identify the outside parts of the figure. With this one, we have the leg. This is the leg. We have the arc. We have the leg. We have the arc. So here we shall say our perimeter equals leg okay, plus this up plus 
We have length, this one here, plus the arc, the, uh, this arc, plus now the length, plus the arc. Perimeter of this figure equals length plus up plus length plus up. And that is what you have done here. So, we have the length. If this is 20, this will also be 20. But what has made us not to get the perimeter easily, we don't have the up. So the next thing you are going to do, before you find the perimeter, first find the arc. Find this arc and find this arc before you go on and find the perimeter. So we shall begin with this arc. And remember, with this figure here, this arc here and this arc, they are the same. This diameter and that one, they are the same. So we, when, you find the, when you find the length of this arc, will be the same as the length of that arc. So we shall say, let's find the length of this arc. We say arc equals, remember it is a semicircle, and this will be a half pi d, because it is having the diameter. And this will now be a half times 22 out of 7 times the diameter, which is 7 centimeters. We shall simplify by 2 here once, by 2, 11. By 7 once, by 7 once. And here we shall have 1 times 11 times 1 centimeter. And this will give us 11 centimeters. We say, I said before that this arc and this arc, they are the same. So if this arc here is 11 centimeters, even this arc is also 11 centimeters. So let's go back to our formula. Perimeter equals length. Where is the length? This length here. If this is 20, this is also 20. So this will be 20 centimeters plus this arc is 11 centimeters plus this up, I mean this length here, is 20 centimeters plus this up, which is, uh, which is uh, 11 centimeters. So our perimeter equals, when you add 20 plus 11, we are going to get 31. 31 plus 20, we shall get 51. Now, 51 plus 11. What are we having here? This is now 2. We have 6. So our perimeter equals 62 centimeters. Okay. Ah. Um, I will have one more last example and I give you an activity that you are going to do. Example. Example four. I'm giving you one with some dotted lines. We have fourteen centimeters. There is a point that. I wrote 
on the chalkboard when you're beginning to have this lesson. In the note we say that the dotted lines are left out when you are finding the perimeter of this figure. So when you are finding the perimeter, only go to the, uh, to the lines which are thick. These ones here. With the dotted ones, leave them. After the purpose of, dot, of those dotted lines are to guide you on what to do when you are answering this question here. Like from here up to here, we have 14. And then also from here up to here is also automatically 14. Now, if this is 14, this one here also be 14 centimeters. This will also be 14 centimeters. If this is a 14, it means that from here up to here is 7, and also from here up to here is also 7. And remember, this is the radius, and also that is the radius. Also, this is the radius, and this is the radius. So when you want to find the perimeter of these thick lines, we shall say perimeter, perimeter of this figure is equal to length, this length here, plus this arc, plus this arc, plus another arc. We have the length. The length is already there. It is here. We don't have the arc, and we don't have this arc. This arc here, and this arc, they are the same. So justify the length of one arc. Then the measurement you will get will also be the same as the measurement for the other arc. And here we shall say our arc equals, just get the arc for one quadrant, this one here. By saying this arc equals a quarter to pi r. And here we shall continue and say a quarter times two times 22 out of seven times the radius, which we say is seven centimeters. By seven once, by seven once. So here we also we shall also say by two here we shall have two. Uh, by two we shall have one. By two once, by two we shall have eleven. So our arc here equals eleven centimeters. So uh, plus this arc here is eleven centimeters. And remember. This arc here is equal to this arc. So if this is 11, this is also 11 centimeters. So now our perimeter equals, if we go back to our formula, this perimeter equals length plus arc, which is this, plus arc, which is this. So our length is 14 centimeters plus this arc, which is 11 centimeters, plus another arc, which is 11 centimeters. So perimeter equals 11, uh, 14 plus 11, we shall have here 5, here 2, plus 11, we shall have here 6, then here 3, so perimeter equals 36 centimeters. So class, this will be our last example for today. And from here, I'm going to give you uh, some numbers you do as an activity. But after doing it from home, you will take 
a picture of those numbers, of the, of the activity that you will have answered, then you post it uh, to our WhatsApp number that is coming down the screen. So, let me give you here some few numbers in the activity and you try them out. So class, uh, try this one, after trying it out, take, take a picture using the uh, camera of the phone, then you send it to the WhatsApp number which is down the screen. Thank you for listening, be good children home and make sure you observe the so uh, social distance. Thank you for listening.